Hello guys, today I want to present to you my new course on Laravel Daily, which is design patterns in Laravel. Design patterns has been a very confusing topic over the years, so I've spent roughly a month or so trying to simplify that for you, how to use design patterns in Laravel and how they are used in the core itself. And as usual on YouTube, I shoot a few free videos from the new courses. So today the topic will be services. So if we take a look at the table of contents, the lessons in the course, there are two lessons about services because service is a word very often used in Laravel, but it's often misunderstood. And how does it fit as a design pattern? We will talk about that today in a minute. And tomorrow there will be another free lesson from this course and the full course is available for premium members of Laravel Daily. I will put the link in the description below. Now, services. I call that lesson most misunderstood word in Laravel because a lot of people are using service classes, but at the same time, there is no PHP artisan make service. So it's not a Laravel feature, but is it a design pattern like service pattern? Yes and no. It depends on how you use it. Typically in Laravel, I see two cases of services, which is service related to eloquent model or service related to, well, external service like third party, like Stripe or payment or something like that. And usually the services are used in this way, some controller method, then you have user service, for example, type hinted, and then you call the function, the method from that service. So from that point of view, service could be any PHP class with any methods. There's no design pattern. There's no strict rule for anything. You just create a class and call the methods from it. So user service itself could look like this. So store function with a lot of operations to actually store the data. But a typical question I get about services usually is what is the difference between services or actions or jobs? Usually service is a group of methods methods around one topic and each method should return something expected to return something in case of actions and jobs, which I talk about as well in this course in other lesson. In those cases, they are not expected to return anything. And they also usually have one method. So job handle action handle or invoke or something like that. Now, this was the typical service usage in Laravel controllers, the most often case, which is not a design pattern. So the second lesson about services is more about design patterns. And let me show you how it can be a design pattern. For example, strategy pattern. For example, we have some kind of service to post a tweet like Twitter service. And this example is very similar to the one we saw before with user data store, right? And inside of that Twitter service, you have a method tweet, which uses some kind of third party auth, for example, in this case, it uses a package and it posts a tweet with your key secret and other credentials. But now what if Twitter changes the API credentials? Or what if you want to use another package for tweeting? So in that case, you have two potential service classes like Twitter API service and Twitter something else service, which should both have the same method of tweet just implemented differently. So for that, we need to introduce the interface and make it more strict. So I'm kind of scrolling through the lessons explaining some parts. So we have an interface with method tweet. There is no make interface. You just create it in your IDE and then you have two service classes. The old service should implement Twitter service interface. And then we create a new API service, which implements the same interface, but have different implementation of tweet method. And this is where design patterns come in, how to choose which class to use. So now instead of type hinting the service in the controller, we type hint the interface. And then somewhere we need to tell Laravel which class to use. And that may be depending on your environment. For example, on local or on production, you may use different service classes. And this is the design pattern of strategy. In case of Laravel in app service provider, you provide the strategy for Laravel. What is the condition for use one or another service? So if it's in production, for example, you bind that to one class in case of not production, another service class. And this is one of the typical example of design patterns implemented in Laravel way. And this is why it is very confusing because design patterns in theory, they are kind of theoretical, but they're implemented in different way with different terms in different programming languages or frameworks. So we implemented kind of a pattern of strategy, but we didn't even use the word strategy 
anywhere. And there could be even arguments, even here on YouTube comments, probably a few people will tell that we could implement it differently with other design pattern, or maybe it's not a clear strategy pattern. And that's the main thing I realized while preparing this course for a month, also tweeting about it, getting feedback also on YouTube from a few videos. People have different opinions and different implementations and different interpretations of the same design patterns based on their own past experience with different programming languages. So the goal with design pattern is not to create a design pattern according to the theory of object-oriented programming, but the goal is to recognize the existing patterns in application, then reuse them in your code, and also write the code in a way that other developers would recognize the patterns even without naming them. So you usually don't even know, like junior developers don't really know the name of the patterns, but they feel, they know, they realize, they recognize the structure of how to code the future classes based on existing classes written by someone else. So yeah, this is my kind of overall advice and feeling of design patterns. I talk about that more in a practical way in the course, and tomorrow there will be another free lesson from that course on YouTube. And the link to the full course is in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.